I knew Stella Young for most of my life. When I was still a baby, my mom asked Stella to be a part of a new television show called No Limits. The show is about disability and it put people with disabilities on our TV screens, talking about what's important to them for the first time in Australia. Stella was only about 20 then but she had star quality and quickly became one of the show's most popular presenters. They knew that media was a powerful tool for social change, and that putting people with disabilities on screen every week could make ordinary people think differently about disability. Mum wanted me to grow up in a world that accepted difference, and hoped the show would help to make that happen. Stella Young was such a big part of that. One day Stella said that people used to come up to her when she traveled on the train, and say horrible things about her disability. One person even said to her face, if I was you I would kill myself. After she started appearing on No Limits however, the kinds of comments people made started to change. People would say things like, I've seen you on TV. You're so cool. I love your show. Ten years later, Stella was so famous and popular that she could barely leave the house without people constantly approaching her, with mostly positive comments. If they were unkind comments, she would just ignore them or come back dryly with something like, I think someone needs a hug, and that would usually stop them. Stella was a frequent visitor in our home. I was always so excited to see her and give her a big hug. I was worried that my clumsiness would injure her, and she was worried that I might knock her out of her chair. It never stopped us though, we still hugged each other, and nobody got hurt. When Stella came to dinner mom always gave her too much food and she'd say, I'm little I don't eat much, and she'd talk and laugh. She'd talk and laugh some more about everything from disability rights and politics to boyfriends and fashion. Stella always took an interest in me, and my progress at school and with friends. I go to a mainstream school, but this year I was forced to change schools because the one I was at was gradually reducing my class contact hours, and socially I was quite isolated. My new school is a happier place where I feel more part of the school community and I'm back in class with a full-time table. This year I also got involved with the Youth Disability Advocacy Service, Disability Media and No Limits, and I realized that while we all want to be part of the mainstream community, we also need time and space in our CRIP community, as Stella loved to call it, to share our experiences until we are included as part of the mainstream with equal access to education, jobs, social opportunities, public transport and housing, we need to share our experiences and we need that time and space to develop our disability pride. Stella Young was such a strong and articulate voice for disability rights and pride in this country, and we need others to follow her lead. She showed us in her own unique way that it is possible to change attitudes towards disability. It may take many of us to fill her red spotted shoes but we can all use our own individual style, passion and ambition to show the world our humanity, and our right to be seen and heard, and to live as we choose with support and freedom that makes every one of our lives meaningful. Thank you Stella for being my friend and for showing me how to live with pride as a young disabled girl.